TV3, first in news, best in entertainment. Members of senior staff association across the public universities in Ghana have resumed full services after a week-long industrial action. Now, the suspension of the strike follows a fruitful um, negotiation with the National Labor Commission and assurances from government that their concerns will be addressed. Well, here at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, the various laboratories have been open for students to be able to access them. The various libraries have also been open for students to have access to them. George Anson is the chairman of the KNUST branch of Senior Staff Association of Ghana. If you are at negotiation, until you have finished the negotiation, uh, 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 it has not ended. And if you want to insist on staying at home for not going to work, then we can never finish the negotiation. So now that they have cleared the way, that the two allowances they were giving us some percentage we, we didn't appreciate. Now it is that percentage is for just one al uh, allowance. So we are going back to talk on the other one and conclude the negotiation. The uh, Labor Commission has set 15th of uh, September for all the parties to come and report. And they have assured us that on the way, before the 15th, if we have any challenges, we shouldn't wait. We should come to them and uh, uh, complain. Some of the students are excited that the members of Senior Staff Association have resumed their services, but they want members of UTAG to also follow suit so that they will be able to bring an end to the academic calendar. Uh, I thank God that um, the senior staff members have resumed um, operation because I'm in final year and I have to complete my project. And when they went on strike, it really affected me because I had to do certain tests by using their lab so that I'll be able to complete my final year project. So now that they've resumed, I'm glad because I can now finish with my project. But with the <laughs> UTAG members still being on strike, it's really affecting us because we want to write our exams, then we finish school. But they not being in, in school has really affected us. We don't even know when we are going to start the exam. So if government could at least help them so that maybe whatever negotiation they are having, it could be solved, it really help us. I think most of us were not able to finish or uh, complete our project before um, they went on strike. But because, uh, by the grace of God, things have been put in place and uh, they've now resumed their work. Uh, you can see, I'm here to complete my project. And this is my final year project. Um, I think the resumption has really helped us. And now we are about to uh, complete our project. So since UTAC is on strike, it's, it means we will not be able to finish our exams early and we will not be able to also graduate early. Because as it stands now, we don't know when they are going to resume. Yes, and then... Um, on the aspect of the studies, uh, you see, uh, this country is such a way that if you don't hear of exam, you can't study. So, uh, <laughs> in fact, we have the slides over there, but it's like you can't study because you know, everything has been paused right now and we don't know uh, our left or the right. We will be monitoring development in the various universities and update you in our subsequent bulletins. Ibrahim Abu Waker, TV3, Kumasi. Yeah, you can